Hey, we're back here at Family Golf and Learning Center in St. Louis, and today I'm gonna to share with you one surefire way for you to slow down your swing speed, which is not a good thing. Hey, I'm Jeff Pelizzaro at 18 Strong, and today I wanna to talk to you about your swing speed, and specifically one thing that I never want you to do because it's gonna definitely slow you down. How many times have you seen somebody or have you personally used a heavy club or maybe even taken two clubs to warm up before your round of golf? You see a lot of guys just getting out there and just kind of swinging around with that lazy swing, two clubs, thinking that that extra weight is going to help not only improve just your, your range of motion, but most people think that because you're swinging something heavy, that when you pick up something light, it's gonna cause you to swing faster. So recently, there have been studies done showing that the donut that you see on a baseball bat or that you would put around a golf club, what those are doing is, are actually slowing you down. And not just slowing you down when you're swinging with them on, but when you take them off, it ends up having a slower effect on your swing. So your body is moving closer to the speed that it was moving when you had that on. So a, a good way to envision this and to kind of exaggerate this is to use something heavy. So I've got this, this weighted pipe here. It's about 12 pounds. Now, if I were to take this thing and swing it as fast as I can, uh, that is way slower than I would swing a club. It's also too hard and heavy to hold like a normal club. So it's already changing the dynamics of my swing. But just to give you that impression of, and you know, kind of taking this to an exaggerated feeling of how much that slows me down. Now, many would think that if I then take a regular club, like my driver, and then swing that, because I, got, I had the resistance, I'm now gonna swing this faster. Well, like I said, that's not the case. Your body, your brain remember that slower swing. So, instead of using a weighted club, what I want you to do is think fast. So before you go out to the first tee box, I'm okay with you using a, a swinging aid or warming up or even you know, using the two clubs, but you have to remember that your brain and your muscles need to remember fast before going to the tee box. So even if you are using something like an orange whip or you're using two clubs to loosen up, what I want you to do after that is take an alignment rod, take your driver or something that's gonna be light, and I want you to then feel that fast swing. Get that real quick motion, feel that, that swooshing, and your body should be feeling faster than it did when it was swinging those weighted clubs or any kind of a heavy piece of equipment because your brain and your neuromuscular system need to feel and see that speed so then you will take that with you to the first tee box. So that's gonna guarantee that you're much faster than if you were to just swing something heavy and feel that resistance and feel that sluggishness slowing you down. So again, speed is obviously a key component in improving your golf game, improving your, your fitness level out on the golf course, but also just how you perform out there. We've put together a resource for you if you wanna take your entire golf fitness to the next level called Get Off the Golf Fitness Roller Coaster, where we basically go through all of the main components that we feel should be a part of a golf fitness program. So from head to toe, you're improving your body, you're improving your golf game, and you're improving the way that you're able to handle yourself and score out there on the golf course. So in order to get that right away, it's a free video series, we'll send it right to you. Just click the link and we'll send it over your way. I'm Jeff Palazzaro with 18 Strong. Train hard, practice smart, and play better golf.